What is up? I'm Moana Turtle. Today we're doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. We have another box of Dark Neostorm to crack into. Uh, however, to start, I do want to do a quick follow-up on yesterday's video uh, where we opened up some Crimson Crisis and one of the uh, special edition boxes we're actually tampered with. Uh, so luckily I did contact the vendor which I bought the product from and kind of notify them the situation and they were really good about it. Um, they said, you know, okay, we'll have to look at uh, some stuff and then however we will issue a, a refund for that item. And you know, I didn't even have to refer to the video or anything like that, so they're pretty good about it. Um, but I feel like the takeaway is, um, actually, first off, recording openings does have its benefits just in the event that there is like, um, you know, they don't really accept what you're saying uh, and you know sometimes that can happen when you don't purchase directly from um, Konami or you know some 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 places where they can uh, acquire product from from their customers as well uh, so yeah it was interesting uh, but everything did work out so and uh, some of the comments you know about you know that, that that's why they don't buy secondhand like I completely agree um, so but everything worked out, so I <laughs> just want to follow up on that. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into this Dark Neostorm box. Um, I feel like this is a pretty good set. Actually, I, uh, someone did ask a question, you know, what my thoughts were. And I kind of left it at, you know, this is a very solid set. Um, definitely wasn't a big dis Like, I would say Infinity Chaser was a huge disappointment. Um, I feel like this one will kind of come and go and be known as... Yeah, that was a pretty good set. Nothing too earth shattering. And now let's move on to the next one. Um, but uh, so I will call, give it like a seven or eight out of ten. Uh, all right, enough talk. Let's get into this opening. Let's see if we can't pull a no material. I think no material is the one I want the most. Uh, at at this point, like a lot of the cards have kind of like leveled off in price. Um, but I think no material is the one I would like to see the most. Obviously, the best hit is that Dingarisu. Orcist XYZ monster. XYZ creature. So it'd be sweet to pull one of those. Alright, so we have 12 packs of Dark Neostorm. Let's get right into it. As always, guys, um... After you watch this video, or right now, just uh, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It does support the channel and help us reach new viewers. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, de um, definitely hit that sub button. Uh, we do Yu-Gi-Oh! content um, basically every single day, as well as Pokemon as well. So if you like any of those games, definitely sub. Alright, so for our first pack, we got one of the Super Quantal and then a Dragon Rare. On to pack number two. All right, let's see. Salmon Great Fennec, Galindrus Dragon, Altergeist Fifth in the Leg, and then a Fusion Destiny. Followed by Valkyrie Fun Funte. I don't know how to pronounce that. Candy Gallop Stand In. Nothing there either. All right, we have a Goki the Blade Ogre, Neo Flame Vell Lady, Crusader Testament, Ultra Guys Haunted Rock, and then here is our first Ultra and Valkyrie Erda. I did see her some stuff about Valkyries actually being successful. Um, although actually the the funnier one was uh. How there was some actually some meta worthy trained decks, <laughs> which I found thought that was actually absolutely hilarious. Uh, I'm not not familiar enough with all the cards to know which ones are the good ones, uh, but <laughs> just the fact that that was an actual a real thing was very found that very hilarious. Neo Flame Veil Lady and then Loge's Flame. I like how that foil kind of pops, and then a Psy Reflector. Loud Cloud, one of my favorite looking commons. Cybers Reminder, and then a Dino Wrestler. All right, so we did get one Ultra so far. It's not the one we're looking for. 
Okay, Incantation Originator, Cloudian Aerosol, Dino Wrestle Colossalat, Morchlag, and then Memories of Hope, and then a Modulce. Rare, another Dino Wrestler, and another Cybers Reminder. So, a next set just got announced Fist of the Gadgets. Um, and there's a bunch of in between, so it'll probably be a while before we get that one. But uh, should bring so some new support. I think it was like some kind, some kind of flame fist, and then obviously gadgets as well. So we have a Mayakashi Winter. That's pretty cool art. And then danger feats of strength. Gain eight uh, for your danger monster. You can make up to two attacks. Loud cloud. Valkyrie Chariots and Speed Lift, followed by Assault Sentinel. Alright, hoping for one of those secrets that's con to continued to elude us. Oh, um, not sure if I announced this yet, but uh, so I did start a eBay store um, that kind of go sell like, some of the cards that we do pull. Uh, so, you can quick, just uh, click down below in the description. There is a link to the eBay store if you're interested in taking a look. Uh, right now, there's still not much. I'm still trying to just understand um, all the different workflows before I put too much uh, product on there that I can't ship out in a timely fashion. Uh, but yeah, take that, take a quick look. Um, right now, there's just singles. I might uh, add some PSA stuff in there as well, but uh, I'm still not sure about how... Um, still working out some logistics. Dirge of the Lost Dragon. And then World Chalice, Guard Dragon, and Drake. Overflow Dragon, Ice Miyakashi, Goki the Solid Ogre, and World Legacy Collapse. Alright, we still have four packs left. I feel like so far we didn't get anything too good. Let's see if we can't get a crackdown of its super rare. Looking for one more ultra and obviously our seeker rare for this eye box. We have Deus X Crawler. Pegasus Wing, Puzzle Mino, Magical Musket, Crooked Crown, and then our next uh, Ultra is a Mermail Abyssalicia. Not sure about that one either. I don't think it's that good. This thing is that actually not bad. Uh, however, I don't think this is like the best, the best one just because it was a promo, so you can kind of get that one as well. Ice Miyakashi, that one's probably worth a little bit more, and then a Dino Wrestler to wrap up. So both of our Ultras. Well, it's kind of like uh, ding, uh, ding, ding, or bust. <laughs> but Dingarisu, then the, as far as ultras go, there's not much to be had. So we're kind of relying on that secret slot, Orcus Crescendo, and then the Weathered Rainbow Canvas, Dice It, Snowman Effect, and Incantation Thanatosis. Alright, two packs left for this. Dark Neo Storm opening. We have a packet swap. Altergeist Fin Fin Leg. Neo Flame Veil Lady. Saruja's Shackles. Mystic Mine. I do like this card. Um, it it's just really funny how it can just end games like that. Um, you know, you see you see videos where. Uh, Turn one, guy like creates his massive board, takes like seven minutes to play through his first turn, and then next player, it's like Mystic Mine. He's like, oh, I actually don't have a way to remove that, and I will deck out my deck myself before you do. I guess that's it. The Lindris Dragon. All right, so this is the last pack. Uh, hopefully, we do find our secret rare. There have been occasions where both secrets were on the same side, so we'll see if that's the case right here. Let's see. Boom. Ooh, nice. We pull so many of this. We, we've we yet to pull the no material or the ghost girl something dog, dogwood. Um, but this is like our third Cherubini, which I'm fine with. This card is really cool. And um, as far as secrets go, it's it's up one of the top ones. And uh, But the art is still kind of hard to see what's going on. Still not sure entirely what's all this up here. But that's like the face down there and has a pretty cool sword. Um, so, really happy with that secret pull. Then we have a Whitefish Salvage for the rare. Ah, oh, that worked out nice where... Uh, 
kind of got that secret on that last pack kind of some last pack magic right there really happy with that uh and that's all we have for this opening um as always like comment and subscribe all down below um thanks for uh the no, sympathy is not the right word. I'm not sure about the, that, that the tampered box, but everything did turn out okay. Uh, vendor was very, um, very understanding, so that worked out. Uh, but yeah, something that can happen. I think um, maybe we'll do a video about some other times that I had situations with tampered cards, and I do have some of them kept around. Not tampered cards, but actually they were just straight up counterfeit. But uh, either way, that's a video for a future debt, future. For the future, um, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.